Me know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. Right now, I have some sweet and sour chicken on its way. But first, me could eat breakfast before dinner, the man. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can turn quesadilla into a delicious breakfast snack. Feel me? I say quesadilla, as you know it, is basically cheese and tortilla shell. We are going to put a twist for that and throw some something, something, something in there with a normal use for breakfast. You see me? So hit that thumbs up button if you're into these type of things. And let me know in the comment section what next you'd like to see me prepare. This breakfast quesadilla was requested by my very close friend, Jerome. Romy, big up yourself in the dad. That one I'm feeling. You feel me? I say breakfast quesadilla. So without further ado, forward. Let me show you what. Go on. So to start this breakfast quesadilla off, you'll need half of a ripe tomato. Here I have half bell pepper, but quarter of each color: quarter orange and quarter yellow. I also have some Scotch bonnet pepper right here, depending on your spice tolerance. I also have red and white onions. So in total, this is like three quarter of a medium onion but I mix it with red and white and of course I have three grade A eggs right? and I'm going to be using some chicken bacon I'm going to add all of these ingredients in a baking tray two strips of bacon I'm going to put them to the side because you want them to catch a bit of color so I'm going to go in with salt and pepper to taste so I use about quarter teaspoon and then I'm going to go in with a drizzle of olive oil just a drizzle I'm gonna pop this in my preheated oven which is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 7 to 10 minutes just to get them nice and roasted that's roasting off in the oven I'm just gonna grate some marble cheese in a separate bowl I'm gonna go in with three eggs then I'm gonna remove the eyes from the eggs because these little things right here they make a big difference in the egg they make it raw you know so those little things right there then I'm just gonna whisk this up nicely alright so this is perfect egg we're not gonna season this with salt and pepper until afterwards because that prevents our scrambled egg from being fluffy just the way we want it right? my frying pan is gonna add a knob of butter right nothing too much Oh, that butter to slightly melt and go in with our eggs. We're just gonna scramble these nice and fluffy. So all the details on how to get your scrambled eggs fluffy, you can click that link above. At this point you can add your salt and pepper because you get the fluffiness of the eggs that you want. I'm gonna sprinkle a bit of green onion. You know the thing or some people call it scallion eh? Touch of salt and pepper. So literally, not even a minute. Just chop that up into the size that you want. You see? Perfect scrambled eggs. Take that off the stove to start the cooking. Look how fluffy and moist our scrambled eggs are. Alright, timer off. About 15 minutes in the oven, 10 minutes on regular for 400, and then I put 5 minutes on broil. Got a little char going on here, that's what you want. What you want to do next, gonna get the veggies, and we're just gonna put them in a strainer and allow them to just drain off the excess oil. There's nothing I hate more than a quesadilla oozing oil. Gonna squeeze this out a bit just to get rid of some of that oil that may be in it as well as the juice from the tomato. You could have sauteed this, but I guarantee you the flavor that you get from this by roasting them is unreal. It's a nice crispy bacon. You can either chop up or just throw it right in. So we're gonna use for a recipe some plain tortilla shells, right? Now my pan is hot. Just gonna spray some oil in there. This was at medium and I'm using a cast iron skillet. Reason being this holds the heat all around, right? I'm just gonna go in with my tortilla shell. 
not too much oil just enough so that the tortilla shell doesn't stick and I'm gonna go in with my cheese Then of course we're gonna go in now with our roasted vegetables and bacon bits spread that across generously on one half of the quesadilla like that fluffy scrambled egg so you realize we don't have too much of a high heat my stove is at number four and we're just gonna wait until for about two to three minutes we we'll get the shell nice and crunchy right just sprinkle a bit of chili flakes right on top just gonna fold this over now beautiful and just press it down just gonna slide this out just cut that into half serve that up with some sour cream and we're good to go and there you have it how to prepare your very own breakfast quesadilla here on more stand cooking it once again thank you very much for watching and do remember to hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos like this until next time see if travel on the graph and go and big up on yourself see you another dinner for later but know you fast girl you never tell me cause i know any any man can feed you so that's why you always take me to the kitchen yeah yeah yeah